Hey guys, today I want to show you something that just might save your neck, uh, at least when you're vapor blasting or sand blasting. And um, this applies mostly to your cabinets, um, you know, your common hobby type of cabinets, the smaller ones that have the viewing glass that is at a, a shallow angle. Let me put it that way. It's more toward the horizontal, like 45 degrees or less. Uh, this is a little red cabinet here like you might get at Tractor Supply or Harbor Freight. And this is basically what I'm talking about. You notice the angle is um, less than 45 degrees. I haven't actually measured it, but it looks like that. And what happens is when you're blasting for a long period of time, you're hanging your head over this glass to see inside. Um, I'm not sure why they design them like this, but the viewing angle doesn't need to be like that. I've even seen them where they're almost horizontal and that's just not necessary. You can have these almost vertical and it's just it doesn't make it any more difficult to use. So anyway if you have a cabinet like this uh, this is what's worked for me because I was having neck issues uh, from standing here for a couple hours at a time uh, putting a lot of strain on my neck. What I did was I implemented a um, I guess you call it a structure device and what this is, is this is a modular railing system and I got these pieces here at McMaster Car, like a lot of things I get for, for the shop here. But what these are is cast um, uh, pieces that you can use to put up pipe railing outside. And these, these particular ones are zinc plated cast something, iron or something like that. And they're actually made for Schedule 40 iron or steel pipe, but I had some 1 inch OD steel tubing laying around, so I used that. That's why it doesn't fit perfect here. Uh, if it was pipe, it would be a, a tighter fit. So I got these, and I mounted them to this cabinet on both ends, and just some quarter inch bolts here. And you'll see the, the other fittings here. I got some T-fittings. They sell all this stuff. Now the T-fittings, come with allen screws like uh, socket head uh, set screws so I took them out and I got some all thread and um, glued some regular uh, knobs here you know so you can you can loosen these up and adjust them up or down uh, you know down the angle or straight up or down uh, vertically uh, you know depending on where you want to rest your head above the viewing glass and it took me a little bit to get this where I wanted it where I was comfortable once I did I locked it in place and I haven't changed it since uh, what you see here is a pool noodle um, you know what I'm talking about you can get these at Walmart Dollar General or anything like that these are extremely common and very cheap uh, another thing that works too is the uh, the dark gray pipe insulation that you get in the hardware store I've used that too though it's it's softer but it's not quite resistant so you're gonna have to replace it every once in a while so here's my dry cabinet and this is basically the same situation had I had more experience in blasting at the time I would have made this with a a viewing glass that was either vertical or almost vertical which would eliminate or almost eliminate your neck strain so what I have here on this one is sort of the same thing I have some handrail uh, anchors here basically the same as on my wet cabinet and uh, the zinc plated cast parts now the difference between this setup and the other one is is um, this is actually a modular uh, railing or not railing system a frame set uh, system like if you want to build a framework inside an industrial setting say if you want to build a conveyor belt or um, shelving or Anything you need some sort of tubular structure, you can use this. And what they sell is this plastic coated steel. This is one inch OD um, tubing. It's got some sort of, I think, polyethylene sheathing on the outside. And then you can get these T fittings like right here. Um, these connect 90 degree fittings here. I have them on both ends. Uh, these are pretty slick. They're a little bit more difficult to adjust than the other ones. Uh, but once you get them adjusted, you can they have holes for rivets you can put in here and hold everything in place. I like the I like doing this because even though it's riveted to one side of the tubing, you can still loosen this up and adjust uh, this up or down here. It's not locked in place. The rivet just kind of holds the one side of the clamp to the tubing, so it's not as squirrely whenever you're tightening it up. Um, so you see, it's got a hole there too. So here I have the same pool noodle uh, set up. I was using the pipe insulation. 
uh, but it's basically the same thing as the wet cabinet and I can't tell you how much uh, neck pain this has helped me with. I uh, pretty much eliminated it. I still get a little tiny bit of strain after a couple hours working in the cabinet, but it's nothing like it was. Um, the, the one thing that I would recommend, like if I was building another cabinet or you're know, getting a different cabinet, is I would have one with an upright glass in it, a vertical glass or almost vertical, maybe 10 degrees. So it doesn't need to be tilted 45 degrees like this. In fact, my, in my opinion, a viewing glass like this, what it does is it allows more of a direct blasting impact when you're sandblasting parts. It puts the glass closer and so your your blasting stream you know, comes straight up at it and it causes it to frost uh, faster or get etched faster. So in, in my opinion a, a near vertical uh, viewing glass would be a much better idea but until I get one of those I'm going to use this here. Um, so McMaster Car has these parts. I'll probably put some links in the description where you can get this modular thing here. Um, either, either one you know, either one works just as well. It uh, doesn't matter. Okay, guys, I just wanted to pass that along to you. I know a lot of my viewers also do blasting work, vapor blasting, dry blasting. So I just wanted to mention something that might help you out. I'll talk to you guys later.